Here's the 14850 Dining Report. Many restaurants, gas stations, and all sorts of retail stores have tried a variety of ways to cover the business expense of accepting credit cards, including offering cash discounts or imposing credit card surcharges. As of February 11th, the rules in New York State change, so the higher price must be displayed. A business has the option of passing along the actual cost of credit card processing fees as a surcharge to customers, says the Office of Consumer Protection in New York State's Department of State, but they must be transparent by displaying the highest total price, excluding sales tax. That means a restaurant menu can no longer list only the lower cash discount price for each item, with a notation elsewhere on the menu, on the wall, or at the register, saying customers paying with a credit card will be charged a surcharge. Or a gas station can no longer have a large sign visible from the road displaying only the cash price if the credit card price is higher. Small restaurants and gas stations are often left with an outsized cost from credit card transactions because not only do they typically pay 3% of the total on each transaction to the credit card companies, there's also a per-transaction fee of 30 cents or so. 3% may not seem like much, but that plus 30 cents right off the top means small businesses are losing a huge chunk of their already slim margins, especially for small transactions like a single cup of coffee or a beer. Businesses can choose to display both the credit card price and the cash discount price, or they can display the higher price and offer a discount for cash purchases. The rule goes into effect February 11th, Super Bowl Sunday, so one of the busiest days of the year for takeout food and snacks will need a little extra attention to fair pricing. For more, find 14850 Dining on Spotify, YouTube, and Facebook and at 14850.com. With the 14850 Dining Report, I'm Mark H. Anbinder.